the garden. Mang Atong was well known in the in Barrio Palong Palong. He had the most beautiful garden there. His vegetable patch, patch was all green. His yard had a variety of flowers. One morning, Mang Atong had to stop watering the plants. The sampagitas were crying. The gumemelas was wailing. The, ro the rosals were howling and the kalachuchis were sob sobbing. What happened here? Why is there an uproar? Asked Mang Atong. Tipaklong was Tipaklong came so hungry. He was with his trop and here they attack answered ilang ilang the craces on mang atong forehead got deeper it was at dawn when he was fast asleep that tipaklong troop attacked he reminded aling bebang to wake up to wake him up much earlier the day the next day mang atong thought that he had already woken up earlier for sure he would catch the paklong's hungry troop mang atong spied around as he slowly walked to the vegetable patch It was already noisy and uproarious there, but Sai was sitting on the ground and wailing. Talong was jumping like crazy. Cigarillas was stamping while Okura was hobbling. The crazy bones fasted. Here is here this time, cried Mang Atom. His chest heaven heavened he was deep in truth. He was deep in thought. Mang Atong did not sleep that night. His trap was full proof while Tipaklong was eating fresh kang kong. He was caught in the trap. His troop fled. Don't worry, I will also set you free, said Mang Atong. Have mercy, I will go hungry here. Don't imprison me. I will I will really let you go hungry. I will tie your feet from now on and you will not be able to hop. Threatened Mang Atong. Paklong had been imprisoned for three days. He was getting weak and he almost could not speak anymore. Aling Bebang was worried, so he spoke to her husband, Mang Atong, agree to her suggestion, if you will allow it, I will feed you, I will also untie your feet. But you have to work in exchange for your food and lodging. Tipaklong got excited. I will do anything, he answered out loud. Tipaklong was fed by Mang Atong with rice and fish. Then he was taken to the vegetable patch. He tilled the soil and watered the plants. Tipaklong helped Mang Atong every day. From then on, 
became friends with Petsai, Talong, Cigarillas, and Okra. When it was time to rest, they would sing while he pretend to play the guardian. Mang Atong once chanced upon them. That way, in once in one instance, they all stopped. They thought Mang Atong would get angry, but the simple simply smiled and said, "So you are." Fond of playing the guitar. If you will stay longer, I will buy you a guitar. Tipaklong's eyes melt, smiled. From then on, he became even more hardworking. His extraordinary nose. Could smell the insects near or far. His extraordinary, extraordinary eyes could see those who hide wet weather on the leaves or in the trees. That was why the plants under. His care became even happier and healthier. Bumamela was always laughing. Okra was often singing. Talong was always hopping. Petsai was cigar. Petsai and cigarillas was readily dancing. One morning, Tipaklong was surprised. Talong came to meet him, complaining. He came upon Ampalaya stump, stumping Ampalaya's young leaves, were eaten by a dozen caterpillars. They turned out to be hide, hiding in the acacia tree. The Paklong made a promise: they will fall into my trap. Tipaklong dug a ditch around the ground, not far from the lush vine of ampalaya. He placed some young leaves on the ground. These were the favorites of the greedy caterpillars who readily smiled. The delicious aroma they hurriedly went down the acacia tree. And raised to eat the young leaves, they failed to notice what was happening around them. The paklong was already pouring water on the ditch when they were done eating and had their fill. They moved slowly. They saw that they were surrounded with water and could not cross. They begged, they begged, Tipaklong, to let them go. They promised to leave and never to return. If you don't fulfill your promise, I will not free you. Next time, said Tipaklong. The caterpillars raced to cross the bridge of bamboo stick. Ampalaya smiled. Was so wide. When she saw the last caterpillar crawling away slowly, she thanked Tipaklong. From then on, Ampalaya had more yellow flowers, and her fruits became even full and rounder. Mang Atong and Aling Bebang's garden and vegetable. Patch became even more beautiful. This was noticed by the villagers of Palong Palong. They were wondering why the couple became even more hardworking and stronger. It thus became the talk of the barrio that tending plants 
was on antidote for weakness and old age. One day, the couple talked to Tipaklong, You have redeared red, red more than enough service in your in our garden. You can now go back to your home if you wish. Mang Atong's voice was sad. We cannot thank you enough for being so industrious. We cannot add Aling Bebang. I don't like to go home. This is already my home. Pak Long's voice was sad. I would like to stay here if it's okay. I will take care of the plants even more. This is your home then. The couple happily answered. Pak Long hopped and hopped with joy. From then on, when Whenever somebody would ask, what fertilizer do you give your plants, Mang Atong? He would answer with a smile, try having a gardener like Tipaklong.